In this video we're going to take another look at the L298 motor controller and see if we can use it to control the motor in this drill. What's great about the motors in electric drills is they're relatively cheap, yet they're powerful enough to start moving bigger and heavier objects. But they get a lot more interesting when we can program them to move whenever we want, control their speed, and even connect them to remote controls. And that's where a motor controller comes in. When the drill turns, an electric current flows from the battery pack through the motor coils. In order to have enough power to cut through wood or metal, the motor in the drill can draw currents of several amps. To handle the large motor currents, we're going to use the L298 motor controller and connect it between the battery pack and the drill motor. To tell the motor controller how fast the motor should turn and which direction it should go, we can use some small control signals from an Arduino microcontroller. The Arduino also requires power which we can take from the same battery pack. The motor connects via the out 1 and out 2 pins on the motor controller and will connect to the Arduino via pins 2, 3 and 9. We can power the Arduino through the ground and V-in pins, and we can power the motor controller via its ground and plus 12 volt connection. To connect up the motor, I'm opening up the casework of the drill so that we can get access to the motor's connections. It would be best to remove the motor entirely for this, but for a quick test I'm going to connect up to the motor using a couple of crocodile clips and place the drill in neutral. Connections to the Arduino can be made with these pushing connectors and connections to the motor and battery pack can be made through the screw terminals. To get our motor spinning we're going to need some software. I've covered getting started with Arduino software in another video, so let's just dive straight into the code. First thing we need to do is define our control signals pins 2, 3 and 9 as outputs and we'll do that in the setup function. In the loop function, we'll add code to make the motor spin forwards using pins 2 and 3. Notice pin 2 is high and pin 3 is low. To make the motor spin backwards, we'd set these the opposite way round. We can then use the analog write command and pin 9 to set the motor speed. The motor speed can be set to any number between 0 and 255. We'll set it to 200 here as an example. Once we set the motor speed, we'll have the code wait for one second, then we'll slow the motor down to 50, wait another second, and then repeat this code in the loop. Once the code's done, click the upload button to load it onto the board. When we connect up the battery pack, the software starts to run, and the motor runs quickly for one second, then slowly for one second, over and over in a loop, just like we set it to. By expanding on this code, we'll be able to get the motor to run forwards or backwards at any speed we want. I've said that our drill motor can draw currents of several amps, and our little L298 motor controller is only designed to provide two amps continuously from each of its motor outputs, and it will get very hot when it's working hard. Luckily, instead of using the L298 to drive two 2 amp motors, we can combine its outputs to drive one larger 4 amp motor instead. To do this we have to connect together the outputs for both motors and also connect the Arduino to the inputs for both motors but once we've done this we can drive a single motor with up to 4 amps. In this video we managed to control an electric drill motor using an Arduino and a motor controller. By experimenting with the software we've got everything we need to get some simple robots moving. Check out the description for links to the parts and code used and I'll see you in the next video.